Hi, it's Emily from The Loopy Stitch and I'm going to show you what I call an extended X stitch, which is this pretty stitch right here. Okay, so it's basically multiples of four. So I'm just doing a little swatch of five lots of four and then I've got one stitch on either side just to bring it up nice and even. So I'm just going to focus in one second so that you can see what I'm doing. To get to the right height of this stitch, I'm going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to turn my work. So we are going to start by yarn over four times. One more. This little finger is going to come into a lot of play today. It's going to help out with holding the, um, the yarn on the hook quite nicely so that it doesn't move around. So we're going to insert into the next stitch. I'll show you. It's a bit fluffy. So yarn over four times when we want to do four. <laughs> there we go. Insert into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop and we're going to pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, one part of the X stitch. Now we're going to yarn over two and we're going to skip two stitches and work into the next stitch. I'm going to focus again, one moment. No, not on that, on this. There we go. So that's yarn over once, yarn over twice. So we're going to yarn over three times and that's where we actually join our two together. Then we're going to do it three more times, once, twice and three times. So we have three of our four components of our X stitch. We're going to chain two and then we're actually going to come back and make the fourth one into this part right here. So yarn over twice, we're going to pick up that front loop of that part and then we're going to go pick up the loop right next to it. And then we're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So there we have one. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so like I just said, we're going to go work straight back into that next stitch no skipping any so yarn over four times i think it can be a little bit fiddly but you do get the hang of it i i, I must admit you will get better as it the more you go so focused again there we're going to go back into this stitch here so we're going to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so i've done one component yarn over twice oopsies Oh, stay there, you little... <laughs> okay. You know how you ask a kid to do something on demand? It's like crocheting on demand. It, it sometimes never goes according to plan. Okay, so we're going to skip two stitches and then we're going to work into the next stitch. So we're going to pull up a loop and bring it back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And we have five beautiful loops on the hook. So that's our first one we made, that's our second one we made, and now we're going to combine the two with the next yarn over and pull through two loops. So you can see that, I might just zoom in a bit, sorry, it's like a one-handed focus, so that you can see, <clears throat> hopefully see anyway. So now we're going to go yarn overs again, yarn over, pull through two, see how this finger kind of keeps all this yarn in this area. Just going to focus um, and this way our loops won't be humongous I mean I have a big loop problem usually it's like this big loop here but hey it's going to be hidden on the next round or row depending on how this patterns worked we're going to chain two and then we're going to come and work back in here but I'm going to see if I can zoom even closer so you can see exactly where I'm putting my stitches let me bring you closer okay so we're going to work in here in that stitch I'm going to go through that stitch and that stitch okay so it's basically the same stitch where are we off both components okie dokie so I'm going to yarn over twice magic fingers back insert through those two loops sorry yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two Ta -da! 
okay. So we're going to do that again. I do apologize if, if you can hear my children. It's school holidays <laughs> and they're outside playing. So I'm just going to refocus. And they're arguing because they're boys and they're arguing over soccer. Who can kick better? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so back into the next stitch we go. Magic finger kind of holding all those loops so they don't move around too much, creating big gaps. So one's done. Skip to work into the next after doing yarn over two. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Once again, we've got our beautiful five loops on the hook. We are now going to combine the two by yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to finish the third component of our extended X stitch and pull through the last one. See my big old loop, but hey, it's okay. Chain not too tight, not too loose, but enough. So we've done our yarn over twice. Back into this magic little spot, that loop there, that loop there. It kind of is the middle of the stitches and you can see it's the same place when I can get in the right spot for you. And focus where the third component comes from. So we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we have done three. <clears throat> Excuse me, I apologise for my voice. I would say it's from yelling at my kids too much, but it's not. It's because I've been sick. Okay, I need one more yarn over. Push that down here. Working into the next stitch again. Okay, yarn over. Oh dear, <laughs> we got a bit excited there. Three, four. So yarn over, there we go, pull up a loop, yarn over once, pull through, yarn twice, we've done one, yarn over twice, skip your two, go into the third, checking that I'm on the screen still for you, there, uh oh, this happens sometimes, but especially when you're not looking, I'm trying to make sure you're all in shot. Okay, back into this third stitch from the other one. And we're gonna yarn over and pull through two to combine the two. Then yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. Let's chain two. Get my yarn out of the way. And we are going to yarn over, pull through two. And we're gonna make the last component of the extended X stitch. In there, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, four, so three and four. We're going to go into the next stitch again, not skipping any stitches in between these. The only skip stitches are in the actual stitch itself, so we've done two. Yarn over twice, skip two, and we're going to work in the second last stitch because this is the end. Got our two to put together. There, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. I think you've got the rhythm by now. Chain two, yarn over two, <laughs> insert and finish the last of your stitch and now with this <laughs> i actually should know but i can't remember from memory what i did um, i've just yarned over three times hopefully that'll bring us up to the right height if not i probably probably should go yarn over four because that's what i've done to get to that height with the other stitches see it's like a learning curve for me as I go as well. Let's see if that looks better. Depending on what pattern you're making and what this is in, you might not need this end stitch. See how this kind of finger kind of shoves it all at the end so it doesn't get too big? Oh! <laughs> okay. Yes, that's that's a bit better than the other one, so it's not too tight. Okay, so that is basically... Let me focus. We'll come closer. So you can see all the pretty extended X stitches. So, <clears throat> excuse me. That's it in all its pretty glory. 
it's a very pretty pattern I've also got it in white one second which you probably won't be able to see very well although you might I did that a little bit earlier as well that one's in cotton the other one was in style craft special DK depending what you're making it will have a different sort of look I've also made a shawl in it as well and that's my children so yes thank you very much for watching please like subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified when I make new videos have fun if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask I'll pop everything in the everything in the description box down below that's the back of it even the back's pretty hmm. thanks for watching until next time Happy hooking. Bye.